Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be playing through a little bit of a storyline. This is my sim here, her name is Lena, and she has a passion for fashion. She's got big dreams of working in the fashion industry, but as you can see, she doesn't really have much. She's starting off in a rundown, tiny apartment in San Myshuno. Not a lot of money in the bank, but you know, she's trying to make the best of it. She's out on her own. Her parents kicked her out of the family home, so she doesn't have the best relationship with them. But who knows? I mean, maybe if we start to actually fend for ourselves and make a name for ourselves, maybe we could work on rebuilding the relationship with our parents. So, Lena, you know, looking around at where you're living, I mean, this apartment needs a lot of TLC. Her main goal is to move to the fashion district. She can't really afford to do that, so right now we're living in the arts district. But one day, one day we'll get a swanky apartment in the fashion district, Lena. But for now, I mean, we're pretty broke as shit. <laughs> don't really have a pot to piss in. So, I think, first things first, probably a good idea to find a job. Preferably one in fashion. She wants to get herself a sewing machine so she can sell her own handmade clothes, but we can't afford a sewing machine just yet. So we're gonna need to earn some money first. Style influencer. Yes, I think that is where we shall start. So first of all, she needs to discuss fashion outfits. Well, we will go and introduce ourselves to our neighbour, Lila. I believe this is the sim we used for the high school Let's Play. Get off the TV and go and introduce yourself to the neighbours, okay? Be a good neighbour. Uh, she also she needs to interview Sims. Okay, okay. Oh, Lila's feeling pretty flirty. Oh, Lila. Interview Lila. We'll get one interview out of the way. Right, before you go to bed, I know you're tired, but there are some Sims over here this sim seems like she would have something to say about fashion. You know what, I'm just going to teleport you here. And then we will say hello. We will interview that sim, and then maybe we'll start up a conversation with one more, and then you can go to bed, Lena, okay? Then we'll interview this sim, and then we will be done. Okay, perfect. Interview's done. Lena, you can go back to your apartment and finally get some sleep in your little blow-up camper bed. Hey, I didn't invite you in. We were just having casual hallway talk. It wasn't an invitation, Lila. Bye-bye. Honestly, the cheek on some of these sims. I have a few ideas of how we can make enough money to move into the fashion district, upgrade our stuff a little bit, and also get our name out there in the fashion industry. I'm thinking. So obviously we've got this style influencer job, and that's all well and good. That's great. But also on the side... Once we can afford a sewing machine, we're going to go ahead and sell our own clothes. And also, seeing as we have a laptop, I'm thinking we could write some fashion books. Lena, what do you think? Just to bring a little bit of money in with those daily royalties. How are your needs doing? A little bit hungry, a bit peckish. I think we'll just have a quick meal, just a little bit of cereal. What you got there? Some coloured Cheerios? Yeah, what a great start to the day. Most important meal of the day, so they say. Right, you're in a splendidly good mood for work. We've already improved our performance to good from doing that little work assignment, so who knows? We might get a promotion today, first day on the job. All right, time for work. You go, girl. Go get it, girl. Have fun. Make friends. Actually, no, don't make friends. Work hard. Oh, 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 performance has gone into excellent. Oh, yeah, that's a promotion. There's got to be a promotion. Okay, perfect. What are we now? A consignment commenter. Oh, commentator. Perfect, perfect. Oh, and there's Lila. There's a sim I can use for my daily task. Discuss outfits or fashion. I'm sure she can spare a minute to chat to me. Okay, we will discuss outfit. And also, well, well we've got to do something fun, so maybe we'll just watch some TV. But then after that... We're going to write a fashion book, and that will get us some money, and it will build the writing skill that we need to build. Okay, discuss outfit complete. So we'll just watch enough TV to start having fun, and then we're going to write a fashion novel. <laughs> Lila is self-absorbed. All right, Lena, that is probably enough fun for you. I'm going to send Lila home so that she doesn't distract you, although I think it's super cute that you guys are becoming firm friends. All right, let's write this book. Right, we'll just keep it simple. The power of a red scarf. Fashion-themed book whilst building a skill. 
Hey, level two of the writing skill. All right, I can see you really need the bathroom and you haven't quite finished your book, so why don't you take a break, go and relieve yourself, maybe have a sandwich, and then we'll resume our book. All right, go to bed. Suppose we could always finish that book tomorrow, I guess. I mean, we've got a good half hour before we have to think about leaving the house. We could just put a little bit more work into writing our book. I mean, we've almost finished it. All right, yeah, no, we're not going to have time, but that's fine. We'll have time to finish it tonight, though. What an achievement! Oh, Lena did finish writing her book! Right, let's set her to work hard again. And then when she comes home, we will shave facial hair. Oh, Lila's calling! Lila, I really couldn't give a toss who you hang out with. Um, I, I, don't, I don't care. It's your life, okay? Live your life. I have enough problems of my own. I have enough on my own plate. Just, you know, you're an adult. You can figure it out, Lila. Oh, no way are we going to get another promotion today. <gasps> no way. We all Okay, no, we didn't. But we have moved into excellent, which is great news. Oh, and we got a bug infestation. Okay, complain to landlord. This is why we need to get out of here and get to the fashion district. As soon as you finish shaving. And then we're going to see if we can publish our book. Oh, there's our girl Lila. There's our bestie. We could just talk to her about fashion every day. Looks all good here, just don't call me again soon, eh? The cheek of it! Well, don't lease me a dodgy apartment, landlord. Unbelievable. Okay, we finished discussing outfits. We have no more work requirements. Although we still cannot afford to buy a sewing machine. So I think we're just going to have to use our downtime to just write another novel and hope that the royalties add up so that it, we can start acquiring some serious money. Yeah, if I can get enough books out to get me some good royalties, plus some promotions, then it won't even matter if we don't make that much money from our clothing. Because I think with clothing, this is from the um, sewing machine mod, it does take a while to sell pieces. So sewing is going to be more of an infrequent income, but that's okay. That's fine. I think Lila has become my best friend. Well, Lila, it's always great hanging out with you, but you're kind of being a bit of a distraction right now, so I'm going to send you home. Go hang out with your girlfriend. Bye-bye. Oh, what? We've got three days until work? Oh, what am I going to do? I'm just going to have to keep writing novels. Oh, you got writer's block, huh? Why don't you just watch some TV then? Just sleep it off, Lena. Just sleep it off, girl. Oh, do we have another rodent problem? See, this is why we need to move out. Complain to landlord again. We'll finish up the latest fashion book and then we will, I don't know, have a sandwich. Oh, it's New Year's Eve, apparently. Okay, we've written another book. I'm not sure when we're going to get royalties for the first one. Maybe today? I think they kick in, like, the following day. We should be getting our royalties for our first book in a few hours. So for now, let's just write another book while we wait. I'm really hoping, because the sewing machine, I think, is about 1,200 simoleons. So, if I can earn, like, 200 from royalties, then I can buy a sewing machine. Shall we make a resolution? Our resolution will be get promoted. That's a good one. And then if I get you to practice singing as well, then that should, should achieve this, uh, this event. And then you won't be complaining that you had a terrible New Year's Eve. So why don't you go for a quick dump, sing a little song, and then get back to writing. Oh, I got my royalty report and it was eight simoleons. <laughs> Not quite the 200 I was hoping for. I guess that sewing machine is a few days away still. Okay, perfect. So we've achieved two out of four. That's not bad at all. Oh, Lila's calling. I'm delighted you recommended I spent... Oh, yeah, I, I really couldn't give less of a toss about your time with Salim Benali. But yeah, sure, you're welcome. Probably quite a clever idea for Lena to write all these novels now because she's building that writing skill and I imagine my promotions are going to be dependent on writing, building my writing skill. So we should be prepared for quite a few promotions to come, I would have thought. All right, we've finished writing our third book. You know what? Between now and to when we have got work, I want to try and get five books out there. You want to know if you should go on a date? You've got a girlfriend, so no, I don't think it's a good idea. The most recent book that Lena wrote has been nominated for an award. Oh, sweet. 
well, you know what? We've got a job. We've had a promotion. We've published three books. And we've got time before we have work. I think we should pop to our parents' house and just say hello. You know, try and, try and make peace. I doubt we're going to leave their home having become best friends. But, you know, we can try and de-sour the relationship a little bit. So Lena's family live in Brindleton Bay. So quite a long journey to get to them. All right, Lena, just knock on the door. We won't go on the attack. We come in peace. We should probably just let bygones be bygones. Oh, our mum's in our old room. Let's just go and enthuse about writing. Maybe she'll be proud of us. She'll be thrilled to hear we're putting our time into good use. Oh, I guess you'd rather just sit in the living... Oh, she's going to come to us? Okay, great. We'll ask mum about her day and then... Maybe we'll ask Dad how he's getting on on his day as well. Well, I think Mum and Dad are having a moment. We'll just come tell some jokes. I mean, actually thinking about it, really, we should have bought a present that might have helped the situation a little bit. But maybe we'll discuss fashion with Mum. I just want to get their relationship out of the red. You know? Even if we leave as just acquaintances, that's better than being disliked. Okay, we're starting to get green with Dad. Still pretty red with Mum. Maybe just a few more jokes will do the trick. Okay, we're in the green with Dad, starting to get in the green with Mum. You know what? I would consider that a very successful visit. Bye-bye, family. Gotta go back to the big city. Really need to find a way to make money. Aren't we supposed to be getting the tablet with this job? I'm pretty sure you get, like, a special tablet that we could use to do, to bring in a little bit of extra cash with painting. But I don't think we're at the career level to earn the tablet yet, unless it's in my household inventory. Oh no, but I do have a trending style board. Oh, okay, okay. Can we do anything with this? Oh, I need to get an impression buff, okay. You're just taking yourself to bed now, Lena. I can see you're pretty tired, so early night for you. And it looks like you've got a furry little critter keeping you company. <laughs> Oh, this bloody apartment. I cannot wait to get out of here and move to the fashion district. Hey, landlord, do your job, man. Do your job. Instead of watching cartoons, can you get rid of that rat, please? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to turn the TV off, if that's what it takes. Get rid of the rat, landlord. You haven't come here for a jolly. Okay, well, I guess Lena already solved the problem by obliterating the, the rat. So you may as well go home, you useless sack of shit. Go away, just get out. Useless. Hey, New Year's Eve was awesome. Lena had a wonderful time and got to do everything she planned to do. Good. Oh, don't tell me I have yet another problem. Damn, every day something new in this apartment. Oh, she's singing in the shower. Uh-oh, that's not good. And now we're on fire. Why aren't you helping? This might be the end of the line for Lena. She might die. Wow, you literally saved my life. Oh, you got proper lucky there, Lena. Although, it is going to put us out of pocket to replace that stuff. So I'm going to hold off on replacing it. And instead, maybe we'll just have a shower. You have not had much luck, have you? Ah, oh, the one time I let you actually cook something. Okay, I think we're going to have to have another sandwich. I think we'll save meals for another time. Oh, you're back. I don't know why you came back. You were as useful as a chocolate teapot. Be on your way, landlord. Be on your way. Hate this guy. Well, we got our royalties at least. It barely touches the size. Oh, and I'm only 11 Samo- Oh, well, actually, I don't know exactly how much the sewing machine is. We haven't done too well in terms of making money, I feel, so far. Maybe we should just write another book. We'll write poetry about buttons. At least we have work tomorrow, and we should be getting a promotion, and that will come with a bonus. <laughs> So I think tomorrow we'll be getting our sewing machine and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to replace our kitchen stuff. Level five of the writing skill. Pretty good going, Lena. How much are our bills gonna be? Oh, that's gonna sting. Uh-oh, she's got writer's block. That's fine, we'll just go in the shower and shave. How long until this? Uh, three hours, then we'll just maybe just watch TV for a bit. Oh, I can sell to publisher now, okay. And my short story is excellent quality, so that should bring in a little bit more money. And then we'll get you picking up on your non-fiction book until you're too tired to... Ooh! 
Notable newcomer. Oh, that's right. Starting to get our name out there. Oh, I am so proud of us. You're a one-star celebrity. You've published four books. You're about to get a promotion. I mean, yeah, we still we still live in a bit of a shit heap, but things are gonna change. Oh no. Just as I say that. Oh, hire a repair service. I don't think we have enough skills to repair it ourselves. Oh, this isn't good. Hello, repair service. Can you fix the laptop, please? Why are you just standing there outside the apartment? You're charging me by the hour. Lena, for God's sake, go and greet them. Yeah, that's right, fix it. Charging us by the hour, get fixing. He's complaining about how dirty my, my apartment is. Well, you're not here to be a Mr. How Clean Is Your House. You're here to fix the laptop, now do it. This fucking guy. Okay, he's done it, great, thank you. Bye bye, 123 simoleons. It would have been much cheaper if you hadn't hung around for so long. All right, Lena, wake up. We gotta call the landlord about that stinky thing over there. Man, this is hard grind. Oh, you gotta go to work. Good luck, have fun, enjoy. Oh yeah, okay, we're starting to get some more money from our royalties, okay, that's good. And oh, we've just got our, our bills delivered. Just can't enjoy anything, can I? Well, at least we will have earned some money from today and we should get a bonus. What do you want? Oh, he's come to fix stuff around the, the house. Okay, fine. Why is time going so slowly? What's the issue? Okay, there we go. Finally. Yes. Promotion. So we're now a wearable wordsmith. Very nice. Very nice. And got myself the digital sketch pad. So I need level two charisma, discuss fashion, and I've got a book to finish, and I can afford to get myself a sewing machine. Perfect. So I've got my sewing machine. I don't know if I can afford any supplies, <laughs> but I at least have it. Um, where are my bills? Do I not have bills to pay? Oh yeah, I do. Bills were delivered, okay. Oh, dad's calling. Hey honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I came over yesterday. Um. I'll visit you tomorrow. Right, so we need to work on our charisma skill. Want to make sure we do everything we can for a promotion. Oh, you know what? We should have actually just invited Dad over because we could have spoken to him about fashion. We'll invite him to hang out at Current Lot once we get our charisma skill. And I've got a novel on the go that I'm halfway through writing, so there's that. How much is it going to cost me? Oh, quite a lot. Okay, level two charisma, done. Get dad on the phone, invite him round. Jonah Gregory will be right over. Okay, perfect. So, in that case, we will resume writing Zippers, our non-fiction book, until dad turns up, which will be any minute now. You know what? I don't know if he's coming, so instead I'm just going to talk to Lila about clothes. Discuss outfit. There we go. Hey, girl. How's it going? Where's dad? Why didn't he come over? Why is he blowing me off? Oh, where is he all the way down? Oh, this is why I hate San Myshuno. I really hate this world because of this exact reason. This whole time, I've thought that he wasn't here. Right, let's go discuss outfit with dad and then we'll get you some food. Maybe we'll order pizza or something as a little treat. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to spend money. Sorry, we won't do that. Okay, we've done everything we need to do promotion wise. So we'll go back to writing our book and then maybe tomorrow, tomorrow when we get home from work, we will have been paid. So we'll be able to actually buy some supplies and maybe make something. Dad, don't go flirting with my friend. I'll tell mum. I mean it. Oh, sweet. You finished writing it. Good for you, Lena. Right, let's go and we're going to sell that book to publishers. We're going to eat our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then we'll go to bed. Hey, you got rid of the rat yourself again. Well done, Lena. What are you doing? Just chatting to people online. Oh, what? It's a holiday. No, I'm going to cancel Easter. We don't, we don't need to do Easter. I'm going to see if I can send her in anyway. Go to work, girl. Oh, we got a royalty report. Sweet. Okay, Buttons is doing really well. We're making some good money off of Buttons. Freelance op-ed. In the know, Lena has learned... She had a chance at submitting just one article to the premier culture review line. Oh, review zine. And boost her exposure, but what to write? 
Uh, Hard-hitting exposure. Go for it. Oh. Making the most of this rare opportunity, Lena holds nothing back and spends hours crafting a blistering report that ruffles some feathers. Oh, no. Well, that's not great, but you got to go hard-hitting if you're working in journalism. You have to. Well done, Lena. Congratulations. Oh, we just came... We just became best friends with Lila. Oh, I'm going to miss living so close to her when we eventually move to the fashion district. Right, we'll invite Dad over and then we will buy some fabric. We don't really have much money, but you know what? We probably have enough to stock up on, on some, some stuff we need to make at least one clothing piece. Oh, Dad's here. I just need to discuss fashion with him. Okay, sweet. We've done all of our promotion requirements. We will practice on paper. And, okay, what can we actually afford to make? What about a toddler dress? We could start off with a, a toddler dress and see how we get on. Hopefully practicing on paper will, will make our final product a little bit better. Because we're building our sewing skill. Okay, I think we've done the blueprints. So toddler dress. How much is it gonna... Oh, it probably won't cost me anything, actually, because I already have... I already paid for the materials. But do I have enough materials? I guess so. Oh, this is looking cute. Little purple ruffly dress. The big question is, how much is it gonna sell for? Is this really a moneymaker? I mean, it kind of looks like it's got a few holes in it. Okay, simstagram it, simtock it, tweet it, and then set up a plopsy shop. Lena just opened a Plopsy shop. Okay, cool. Cool. Sell on Plopsy. Looks like no one is interested in buying your clothing. Okay, 3,000 people are following me now that I posted some more. Any chance of selling it now? I guess I just have to keep interacting with social media to up my following. See how much money I can make from it. Any luck? Oh, yeah! 350 simoleons! Do I have enough fabric to make another one? If I sew another toddler dress. What's wrong? What's the, what's the problem? Oh no, looks like something went wrong. Oh, seriously? So I've lost the fabric. Hopefully I've got enough to make another dress. Let's hope. If I can save up another... Let's say if I get to a thousand simoleons, then I'm going to pack up and see if I can afford an apartment in the fashion district finally. Right, girl, get on that social media, check your followers, and then we're going to sell this. 4,000 people. Okay, great, great. Let's sell it and then we'll take care of your needs because I know you're a little bit grumpy. Yes, another 350. Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, Lena, I think it is time that we go apartment hunting. I think we could probably start making some serious money from sewing our own clothes now that we've got a social media following. Oh, fashion district, can I afford you? If I evict that guy and then take the place unfurnished... Okay, sweet! Yes! We can afford to move into the fashion district! We'll stay in touch with Lila, though. She can come over and check out our new pad once we get established. All right, Lena, let's just... Oh, it's the same landlord. Right, let's just get some of our stuff out, shall we? You know what? I'm just going to tear this door down. This wall, even. This wall down. Okay, nice! Oh, this is so much nicer. All this space. No more calling the landlord all the time. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, okay. Let's draw a pink fedora. I want to try and get some drawings done for several different um, pieces. And then we'll see how we're doing with our stock. And how much fabric we need to get in. Oh, Lena, who'd have thought we've co we'd come so far, huh? I see you're quite hungry. Maybe we could... Well, I don't know if I can trust you yet, though, to make food. Fruit salad, we'll go for that. We could probably afford to, um... We'll just replace the stove for now. Because we might still need some money for our fabric and buttons and stuff. Don't we have work soon? Yeah, four hours. But at least we'll get a promotion. Oh, fine, I'll replace that counter as well then. Seeing as you're going to be bringing home your work money. Resume fruit salad, come on. Oh, also... We live right across the hall from Penny Pizzazz. That would be a very good connection to make. Because she, her name's already out there in, like, the magazines and stuff. She's on billboards. So, you know, we could network there, Lena. All right, we have about an hour before we have work. Is there anything else? 
Anything else we want to make some blueprints for? Wedding dress. We'll do a little design for a wedding dress. Can you do that in an hour? I guess we'll see. Yes, perfect, perfect. Okay, so when you get home from work today, we've got some serious sewing to do. Because I'm ready to revamp this apartment. We've, I, I know we've only just moved in and I did add a lick of paint to the walls, but you know, I think we deserve a double bed, maybe a nicer wardrobe. Hey, we got our royalties. Right, have a great day at work. I'll probably do with some curtains as well for a bit more privacy. Oh, we missed our own welcome wagon. Oh well. Ah, oh, Lila's calling. Quick question. Oh, you're just asking if you should hang out with other people. No, we're friends. You're my friend. All right, so I'm thinking, let's make the maid lingerie. I really don't know. Okay, yeah, no, I don't have enough fabric. I'm gonna have to seriously stock up on materials, aren't I? Hey, ensemble author, and I've already got my writing skill. I do need level two in photography, but at least I have enough money to properly stock up on my supplies now. We're gonna make a hat. Hopefully we've got the supplies to do that. Oh no, why does your sewing machine keep breaking? What's going on? Is it broken again? What's the, what's the issue? Is there some kind of glitch going on? What's the problem? Okay, can we sew a gown? Maybe it's because I'm getting her to sew things that she's not skilled enough to do yet. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe if it breaks again this time, which oh, it looks like it is. <sighs> okay, what if I just get her to make a, a toddler dress? Because if she can do that without a problem then that means the issue is down to her trying to make something that she's not skilled enough to make. Can you please make something without running out of fabric? Because we've just spent like 900 simoleons on materials that you have somehow managed to break. So can you try and not fuck this up, please? Just at least so we can recoup our costs. Okay, I think we just need to have a higher sewing sh uh, skill to make the other stuff, which is fine. As long as we don't keep wasting all of our materials. Uh, I think we're getting a bit annoyed by our noisy neighbours. Oh, penny pizzazz. Right, let's make another dress. That'll be three toddler dresses and that should hopefully help us recoup the costs that you lost, dipshit. Okay, let's just sell both these dresses on Plopsy. You're obviously unwell, so we need to order some medicine. Okay, we're at sewing level two, coming on to level three. So if we sell this dress, then we might just recoup our costs. Okay, we recoup the costs that we lost. Um, you do already have some cameras, so let's just take some photos and that will level up your photography skill. Maybe some city landscapes from the window. Oh yeah, breathtaking views, breathtaking views. Can we sew a fedora now, or is that too much? Can we do a fedora? Or are we not skilled enough for that? Oh, actually, take take medicine before you make the fedora. Take the medicine, then we'll make the fedora. There we go. That'll make you right as rain. Please don't screw this up. We can't afford to keep wasting fabric like this, Lena. Okay, it looks like we've got this. It looks like we're doing okay. Hey, sewing level three. Very nice. Okay, simstagram it, simtok it, tweet it. How many followers do we have now? 5,500, okay. So how much does this sell for? Is this worth more than the toddler dress, I wonder? 500 simoleons for that. Oh yeah, probably because it uses more fabric. Let's see if we can make another fedora. Oh, you've broken it, haven't you? Well, you know what I think we could do with? Maybe a bookcase because I don't really want to build the photography skill by taking photos. That just takes way too long. So instead, we're just gonna read photography books. Okay, why don't you spend some time reading your little photography book? We'll start working on getting skill level two in photography. And then when you come back from work today, we'll do some more sewing. And we're probably gonna need to write another book as well unless we want our spotlight to fade. Yeah, we will have a very busy weekend. All right, you better go to work. Got my royalties. Probably gonna need to write some better quality books though if we want to start getting some serious money. Well, we still need to get to level two of the photography skill. So, I think we should spend some time reading your photography book because I think 
Lena, you almost have that skill, and then we'll probably make some clothing pieces, and if we've got time, if her needs permit, then maybe we'll try and bang out another novel. Oh yeah, so close to getting that photography skill. Yes! Okay, so you have met all of the requirements for your next promotion, and seeing as we have a little bit of money, what I'm planning to do is kind of spend her money on investing into stock and making clothing. I probably won't buy much to upgrade the apartment and st until we start getting like a proper collection on this clothing rack. So we desperately need to upgrade or improve our sewing skill. Let's try not to break the sewing machine. Oh, you've already broken it. How? How have you already broken the sewing machine? Okay, Fedora, done. Can we... can we sew a gown? I don't think we'll be able to. I don't think we have the skill required for sewing a gown. But you know what? We'll give it a try. Oh, please try not to ruin this. I feel like I'm taking on way more than I can chew. I think I'm gonna break the machine again. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, okay. That was too ambitious. I want to try and see if there's something else I can make that may not require such a high skill. Like, a romantic dress? Could that be- maybe I could do a romantic dress? Almost at sewing level four. I'm just trying to, like, feel out. I reckon I could probably make a toddler jumpsuit. The romantic dress, I think- Oh no, I didn't want you to sew a toddler dress, I wanted you to sew a romantic dress. Can we do a toddler jumpsuit? Yes, okay, cool. Although it looks like- <laughs> looks like we could have tried a bit harder with that. Alright, let's see if we can do a romantic dress. I don't think we can, but we will give it a try. I mean, we could barely manage the toddler jumpsuit, but we'll see. Oh, it looks like- it looks like she is doing it. Okay, okay. Alright, good job. Well, we still have work in the morning, so I will let you go and fill your needs. Why don't you go use the bathroom, and then get a few hours of sleep before the sun comes out. And you know what? I think maybe it was a bit- too ambitious to think that I could do this all in one video because this is going to be quite a long um, storyline I think because we have to build up our fabric like our sewing skill plus I want to get a few more promotions at work I wanted to renovate this apartment and look at the state of it I mean it's still pretty bare bones so to avoid this video being ridiculously long I'm probably I'm gonna say we'll do this in a two-parter so I'm going to end this episode here, and we will finish this, this time next week. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.